What is up you guys, it is Brad here and welcome to another episode of Brick Lover Vlogs. I just got back from Africa literally yesterday and I'm so excited to dive into all things Lego again and bring you guys along with me for the ride. Like you guys have noticed, the vlogs were actually delayed a week because I took a 10 day long trip to Africa. It was actually the best time ever. I was in Morocco and then I had a little bit of a layover in Switzerland afterwards. So I left last week and I just got back really late Saturday night. So I'm already here in the Lego room on Sunday because guys, actually, I really miss my Lego collection. I don't know why I said that like I'm surprised, but I really miss my Lego. I miss keeping up with the community. So I'm super excited to get back into it. So unfortunately I didn't see any Lego while I was in Africa, but actually when I was in Switzerland, I did manage to pick up these two things so this is a lego city magazine uh it's all in german i think because I, I don't speak that language but i picked it up because it came with a paper poly bag which i'm really excited about i haven't seen lego do paper poly bags before and i know that they are probably experimenting with this i haven't even seen this on the internet or anything like that so i'll be making a video about that and then i also got this kit as well this is the explorer uh also german it's like a magazine and it comes with poly bags i don't know one poly bag two poly bags I literally have no idea. Four? Who could tell? Uh, this one I just picked up, couldn't understand any of the language, and I thought it'd be really fun to make a video on that as well. I've also got this package here. I had actually placed an order for this before I left on my vacation. You guys would have seen that whole video there. So I will open this up today because I don't even remember what I got inside if I'm going to be honest with you. I ordered it like two weeks ago now, uh, but really, really excited to get this package. All right, you guys. So I just finished unboxing the Lego sets that I got from the Lego haul today. You guys can see I did pick up these two exotic parrots, the Galileo gift of purchase, the Lego gingerbread men ornament set, as well as the new Alpine Lodge, as well as the Lego Christmas VIP add-on pack. I'm not sure if I'm going to get to building any of those sets today. It would be kind of nice as a nice way to kind of ease in and relax from my vacation. But first I want to get everything here in the Brickset database and then I might try and tackle some of the Lego sorting a little just because I want to work on the Lego city and I feel like I can't work on the city when none of my parts are in their parts organizers. So we'll do that now. So I figured I might as well take this afternoon while I'm just kind of relaxing to sort out all of my Lego parts. So I've done a little bit of sorting right now. You guys can see I've dumped out some of these bins and sorted some other Pappy Max and stuff like that. Right now I'm working on the plates modified which is just this massive bin here that needs to be sorted into all of these ones but I like I said I need to get the sorting done because I've been I think I've been doing it since August it's been a little ridiculous but it's been ongoing for a long time and I want to work on the Lego City but I feel like I can't do that until the sorting's at least out of the way so that's where I'm at right now. Happy Monday morning you guys it is not even 8 30 a.m yet and I've actually already filmed two videos. I guess that's what jet lag does to you. But basically the first video I filmed was of this paper Lego poly bag as well as these poly bags and these Lego magazines all of which are things I got from Europe when I was there a couple days ago. We don't get these here in Canada and North America, so I'm always excited to check these out. And obviously this was the first time I've ever seen a paper Lego poly bag, so it was pretty special. So I made both of those videos for my channel here. The first one that's gonna go up is the paper poly bag, which will go up way before this vlog. And then the next one will be just the generic unboxing of those ones as well. Both the magazines are unfortunately in German, so I don't really know what they say or anything like that, but they're still pretty cool. And I don't know if I showed you this last night, but progress is still going really well on the sword. I ended up moving everything over to this table here because I want to be able to do some Lego building and things like that. So I wanted to reclaim my center table here and move it all to the sorting table, but it's almost done. Like I'm, I'm very happy. I can't complain. The sorting is almost finished. So obviously I have to work today, but luckily I am working from home. And then after work, I'd actually really like to go to the Lego store because I just got back from vacation. I haven't picked up any groceries or anything like that as well. And because I want to do a bigger grocery haul, it probably makes more sense to go to Walmart where the groceries are a little bit cheaper. And the Walmart is about halfway to the Lego store. So I'm like, ah, why the heck not? Might as well just go there as well. So if I do end up going to the Lego store, I will be sure to bring you guys along with me. And again, I have some content ideas that I want to film there. So hopefully the goal would be to do that. All right, you guys. So I have made it to the mall here and now I'm going to go inside and check it out. Whew, all right. That was an interesting trip to the Lego store. So I actually didn't film as much as I wanted to while I was in the store. And the reason for that was because it's pretty much as soon as I got in, the guy just started yelling at me like, no filming, no filming, no filming in the store. And I was like, dude, it's, it's not that serious. I don't know. That's, I think that was always a rule, but we never really enforced it. Uh, but it was, yeah, he was not, he was very, very aggressively enforcing it. So all the footage you just saw was me kind of like sneakily filming. I still think I got enough of the footage that I needed for what the videos that I want to make with it and stuff like that. A few TikToks and things. Um, you guys saw, like I spent some time at the pab wall, some time at the bam wall, um, ended up getting a pick up or cup and a build a minifigure parts pack, which was pretty cool. Um, but yeah, overall pretty good trip to the Lego store. It was great to see the new 
concept of the store and like you guys will see i'll make a full video on that as well and it was so nice because actually when i was in the lego store this girl was working and she was like hey you're the guy that made a video on youtube about your experience working at the lego store right i was like yeah that's me and she was like oh that's so cool well like thank you because your video answering questions about working at the lego store help me prepare for my interview and get this job. So that was really cool. That was really nice of her to say. So I, I appreciated that. And oh, it's always good moments like that that kind of remind me why I do what I do. So all back from the Lego store now, this is ending up what I picked up. So like I said, I did get a pick a brick cup here full of some really cool parts. So I'll probably have to film an unboxing video of this just to show you what's inside. Cause it was just like a whole, whole variety there and it was the first time filling a pick a brick cup with the new pick a brick wall so that's why i wanted to fill it and give a little bit about my experience and i will talk about that in that video i also picked up a build a minifigure kit here it is with a bunch of lego parts in there as well so i might not make a long form video on this because that wouldn't be too exciting uh but probably we'll do something short form or something like that I don't feel as guilty buying Lego minifigure parts anymore because I know they're all like so nicely sorted over here and like I can actually put them away now. And I know I said I'm going to be making a video on this pick a brick cup, which I will be. And as soon as that video is done, I need to sort the parts because I can't just let it accumulate, especially because I have been working so hard at doing all of this Lego sorting. I just finished building the poly bag that I unboxed earlier on the, for the main channel. And it's so fun. Like it actually, the highlighter yellow parts are really cool here, but I've also never seen a minifigure like this. It's not black or gray like I initially thought it was, but it is this like really cool like metallic or like charcoal color, uh, which I don't think I've ever seen in a Lego minifigure before. So not only does this poly bag come in a bag, like an actual paper bag, which is really cool, but it also has great Lego minifigure parts. So this is definitely one of my favorite builds my favorite poly bag build so far this year. So I just finished opening up the pick a brick cup that I got earlier and the BAM part. So I've sorted everything here. We'll add these to my collection and we'll sort the minifigure parts away as well. I also started filming some videos because later this week is my birthday, which I'm really excited about. So I've actually opened up this set here, which is the birthday cake. So I will be building that very, very soon. I don't know if I already showed you, but I finished building the poly bag as well. And then I've also got to build some of these birthday poly bags, which I'll probably do today just so I can finish filming those videos and get them edited and uploaded for Thursday or no for Friday and Saturday of this week. I'm almost finished all the sorting here, which I'm really, really excited about. So this is awesome. I cannot wait to get all of this done and everything kind of consolidated there. Editing all the birthday videos has gone really well, taking all the thumbnails for that. So those will all be up and ready for my birthday. Of course, I've got all these parts that I also need to sort as well. I'm gonna add some of the trophies to the Brickling store just because I have too many. And then what I wanna do is just kind of consolidate and fix up the Pappy Max. It'd be nice to get this done. Uh, Friday, which is to, no, Saturday, which is in two days from now is actually my birthday. So what better way to kind of spend my birthday than maybe working on the Lego city or building some Lego or doing something fun. And it would be nice to do all that without having a table in here of parts that need to be sorted and the Pappy Max empty like that. Like I just can't wait to get that done. Another thing that I really should get working on is the Brooklyn store. Like I mentioned, I needed to do that when I got back from Africa. There's just a lot of sorting that needs to be done. All of this needs to be dealt with. And then I still have a lot of sets to part out. Like every minute these sets sit here, it's just a waste of my inventory. I can part these out now because the new brick boxes that are coming out are different from like this year. They're completely different pieces and things like that, uh, which is really good. So what I, part of me, like the reason why I was doing it, I can talk about this in the Brooklyn vlog is just because I thought the value of these would change when they get released because more people add them and stuff like that but that doesn't appear to be the case this year so that is good but I gotta work on this and like it's just a mess in here I'll wait and do that after I get all the sorting and stuff like that done I have got all of my Fabi Max containers emptied from the Fabi Max here all laid out on the floor here in my Lego room it is like really really chaotic in here right now but I feel like I'm in the final time and the final sort of the lego collection which is really exciting so i laid everything out to kind of do some consolidation to see where things could go where things could be placed i'm trying to go through all of these different bags here all of these bins emptying out these pick a brick cups like a lot's happening so that's why i wanted to lay it out and visualize it nicely and i think it's been very very helpful do you guys ever just have a moment where you're in your lego room and you just contemplate life because i just i just had one of those i accidentally just dropped two two sorting trays of sorted lego pieces two of them not just one they were both half full so it's not like crazy oh my god but look at all the parts that just flew everywhere these were perfectly perfectly sorted i was just about to put them in my pappy backs behind me here 
and now they're all over the floor. I'm so sad. I'm actually so, so sad. All right, so I did get most of the parts cleaned up here, so not too bad. I realize my floors are a little dirty, so I'm gonna swiffer that. So I guess one good thing came out of it, but basically all the parts just ended up in here. One big mess, and I'm gonna, I'll get back to that, but I wanna finish the rest of the sorting because I'm making really good progress. So for the first time in like August, I only have one table here in the Lego room, which I'm really excited about. I pretty much narrowed down everything that needs to be sorted into these little bins here. And it's probably just another hour or two worth of work. Um, so I can get those done and get everything into the Pavi Max, but the room is looking a lot better now. That's why I want to get the other table out of the way just to make it tidied up a little bit more, which is nice. So I think I've learned my lesson about not sorting Lego bricks for three years. I'm definitely not going to do that again. Probably. Um, I really, I don't want to because this has not been a super fun process, uh, but I've learned my lesson, but I am very excited to see it almost be done, especially because it's only Thursday. Like I said, Saturday's my birthday. I would love to spend some time in here building the city, building some mocks or doing something like that. Potentially, maybe not. We'll have to see what the plans are, but at least I just haven't felt comfortable working on the city until all the Lego sorting has been completed. And now that it's completed, I can't wait to get started on update number seven. All right, so I'm just tuning into the A Couple of Brickheads live stream, which is really exciting. It is live right now and just working on finishing up my sorting. For the first time in months, the Pavi Max is full, which I'm really excited about. It looks really nice and I'm just so excited to get building again. I'm going to go through now. I got a little Windex cloth here and I'm going to relabel everything and get everything situated and sorted and it's going to look great. I was looking for a few more labels to do my labeling and I was just about to give up until I came in here and I found them right here. I made a bunch of these labels years ago. Apparently I, I knew I had extras and I just spent like 10 minutes looking for them. And as I said, I was about to give up, but here they are. Oh, these are cool little containers. I wonder where I got these. Nice. I made these ones years ago too, so I would be know when I was going to conventions where to label stuff, fun little fact. But yeah, here are all the extras of like the Lego ones. I have a lot of small ones that I don't need, but I need a few of the big ones for some of these containers. You guys, I finally did it. All of the Lego parts are now sorted. I think I've been working on this since probably August or September. It has been five videos and like a half a dozen vlogs probably, but it's really exciting because of the sorting is finally finished. I just finished filming sorting vlog number four as well, showing you guys the full progress, but everything here is nicely labeled, which is really exciting, including all the new drawers here. If there's nothing in it, I even just left a blank label to make it look good, but everything's labeled, everything's looking good, everything's in its place. I just have a few bricks down here that need to be sorted, but that's not even a lot. So I'll do that at another time. I was just like really sick of sorting today. I did so much today, but very, very excited about this. It's been a very busy evening of doing all this kind of sorting. So I'm happy that it's finally done. And now hopefully I'll get to work on the Lego City and other mock projects and stuff like that. I also forgot to mention in the sorting vlog, but I got it down from a whole shelf of pick-a-brick cups to just like these many. So it's pretty good, not too bad. Only nine pick a brick cups, and those are just like really, really large parts or large quantities that I just didn't have. So I'm going to put them down there, and of course, I will have to update this little tracker over here. But now that that's all done, I'm going to do a little bit more cleaning of the Lego room, of course. I still haven't touched the brick link, so it's important I do that. But also, like, look at this stack of pick a brick cups I have. That is really, really funny how tall, uh, how tall these are, and I've never seen the pick a brick stack that high before, so that's pretty funny. I do have to say. It is such a nice feeling when the Lego room is just like pristine and clean like it is right now with, you know, everything for the most part. It's in its place. I know where everything is. It's organized. The only things I have out are just some things that I am like actively making videos on and everything else is just, you know, it, like the world is whole. The world is happy. So very, very excited for this. And who knows? It, it will last probably like three days looking like this, but very, very excited because it looks great right now. What is up, you guys? It is Monday now. I'm back here in the Lego room. I haven't picked up this vlog camera since Thursday, I don't think. Maybe I filmed a little on Friday. I don't remember. It was my birthday weekend, so it was a pretty busy weekend, not gonna lie. I had parties and friends here, and like everybody just kind of left yesterday, and I was pretty tired, so I slept and then had to go to work today. But I'm back now working in the Lego room, and I'm excited to bring you guys along. I just wanted to kind of explain that little absence there. So what I started working on this evening, for example, my sorting is now actually, I think it's like final 
finally done with the exception of this little bit right here. I finished sorting all the tiles like I needed to. I also finished sorting all of the one by one plates. I resorted uh, the round tiles and everything like that. So it's actually all the studs as well. So all the little ones that I didn't include in sorting vlog number four, I just finished up here today because I wanted to get them done and get that video edited and uploaded. So I'm really excited now that the whole Lego collection is officially sorted because like I said, I've been wanting to work here on the Lego City for a while now, but it has been hard to do so when all the parts I need to do for building are not sorted properly. So very, very excited for that. The only thing I do have to do is sort this rest of the bin out just because there are some parts in there that I just didn't know what to do with, but I want to be able to say that I finished sorting that. On Friday here in the Lego room, I did film the review of the Galileo, or I may film that Thursday, I'm not sure, but I filmed a review of that. And I filmed a video about this minifigure right here, which is really cool. So I haven't put it back away yet because there's still more B-roll shots that I need to film of it. But I did film that, which I'm really excited about. The reel and the, like the short form video about this minifigure has been doing really, really well. So it's going to be cool to do a full long form video on it. I've also been working on building this set here, which is set number 80111, the Lunar New Year Parade. I actually started building that on my birthday. This is all I got finished, because as I said, I had some friends over, so I did it in the morning while some of them were sleeping in, and I'm an early riser, but uh, I started building that one, so I will finish the rest of it. I'm not building it, doing a speed build or anything on it, which is kind of fun sometimes just to build a Lego set, uh, but I have no idea where this one's gonna go. I guess it will probably go here, because I have a little bit of room on the Chinese New Year shelf, but I might end up just moving some of these sets down a shelf, because I want to be able to kind of group them all together and that one's already pretty full just filming a little bit more b-roll now of the minifigure test print uh just so i have that for the video that'll probably go live next week and thought it'd be really cool if i put it in the hands of this really large lego minifigure here all right, so I have finally finished building the Chinese New Year set that I started last week on my birthday, which is really cool. A lot of fun set to build. I can't wait to display it now. I finished all three sections there. I've got to put these extra parts and stuff like that away. And I, as I said earlier, I think in this vlog, I'm going to put it over here on the shelf somewhere, probably drop down some of these sets uh, down a shelf and get this one on there, which is going to be awesome. I'm pretty much done now sorting as well. Like I did a little bit more. I had that thing, the, the box of parts that I dropped the other day. I just picked them up, scooped it up together and then put them back all in a bin. And I finally just sorted those out today. This is the last part that I have to add. I honestly just don't know where these go. I'm gonna look on BrickLink on kind of what these are. Part of me feels like they're used for railings or like bricks modified or something like that. But like a lot of the bricks modified drawers are a little full. So I just don't really know where they would go. I'm thinking maybe in the fences, like right here, they would go together, maybe in the bricks modified. I don't really know. So I have to figure out kind of where I should put those parts. But other than that, Progress has been a little slow here in the Lego room this week. I feel like by having just such a busy weekend, it's been like really hard to get back into the groove of things. And I've been editing a few videos. Some of them are uploading. Uh, I can't, like all the videos for this week are finished, which is good. And I'll just start working on the videos for next week. But yeah, it's been a pretty crazy week. Also, my eye is acting up again. So that's why I'm back to wearing my glasses, which is also kind of annoying. But I'm gonna work in here a little bit more tonight and see what I can accomplish. What's up, you guys? It is Friday. It is actually Black Friday today, which is really exciting. Now that I've finished work for the day, I'm gonna go out and try and do some Black Friday shopping. There's not really anything in particular that I need, but I figured it's always a good day to look and see if there's any great Lego deals or anything for like my Brickwink store and things like that. I'm probably not going to show you guys a lot of that footage in today's vlog, but you guys can check out the vlog on my main channel of my Black Friday shopping experience. You guys will have to stay tuned, but I'm heading out now. All right, so I got back from my Black Friday shopping here. These are some of the sets that I did pick up. I did pick up this Lego Minecraft Alex. This was on sale as well as the Lord of the Rings brickhead, and this Star Wars brickhead here. These were all on sale. This one was like $20 off. I think this one was $5 off, and then this one was also probably like $5 off or something like that. And then I also got the Lego Creator... Uh, this little snowman poly bag. If you guys want to see more of what I did on Black Friday, you guys will have to head on over to the main channel and check out the Black Friday vlog. I went to the Lego store, of course, which you saw the purchases there. Also into Walmart and Toys R Us, but I didn't really pick up anything at those stores as much as I wanted to at Walmart. And then I actually didn't even do any shopping or anything like that here on Shop at Home or like Amazon or anything, just because there wasn't really anything I was going for. So that is all for my Black Friday haul for this year. Of course, you guys know it is Friday night now, and one of the things that I am doing this weekend is actually going back home for the weekend. It was my birthday, you guys saw, uh, I think earlier in this vlog, so it was my birthday, I never got a chance to celebrate with my family, so this weekend I will be going back home to celebrate. And happy Sunday night, just like that, the weekend has come and gone, I went back home, and now I am back here in Toronto getting ready to get started on the week. So obviously while I was 
was at home celebrating my birthday, I was very fortunate to receive some Lego gifts here. This is just a little bit of a sneak preview of some of the things that I was so lucky to receive this year. So very, very excited to do some Lego building. I know I'm 24 years old, but I still love getting Lego for gifts. And I'm still thankful that my family likes to gift Lego. You know, they could be like, you're 24, you don't need toys anymore, but they're not like that at all. So very excited to definitely get some Lego sets here in the collection for this year. So of course I'm gonna be making a whole haul video on everything like this. And I'll put that on the main channel. Uh, and I'm gonna film that now. But of course, because it is Sunday night, that actually means it's the end of another vlog. So thank you guys so much for tuning in today. I know this vlog was shorter than any of the other ones I believe just because it was a crazy busy week with like travel and birthdays and all that great stuff so I didn't have a lot of time to do much in the Lego room although I did finish my sorting and I feel like I didn't even though I didn't film everything and didn't like spend hours and hours talking about it here on the vlog I did spend hours and hours sorting so that's why I'm really happy but that huge project is now done so even if I didn't get enough other things done here in the Lego room or in the Lego universe this week I'm still really proud of that and I would still say this was a successful vlog. Anyway, thank you guys so much for checking out today's video. If you did enjoy, please don't forget to leave a like, comment, and of course subscribe, and I'm looking forward to seeing you guys here in the next one.